Texas. Today we're going to be ministering the CMT, so that's going to be to test some of your memory. Uh, so first we're going to start off with some questions first, okay? Okay. Okay. So have you noticed any changes in your memory? Mm, not so much. Okay. How would you rate your memory capacity in comparison to about a year ago or before your injury? About zero, 25, 50, 75, 100? Hmm, between 75 and 100 probably. If you studied 20 objects for half a minute, how do you think you would be able to remember? How many, approximately? 20? Out, of, out of 20. Maybe half. Okay. How many do you think you would have recalled before your injury? Mm, maybe a little bit more. 15. 15? Three quarters? Okay. How frequently do you forget things that happened the day before? <laughs> Almost all the time? Three quarters of the time? Half? The day before? Yeah. Probably three. Eh. Half the time. Half the time, probably. Half the time? It okay. takes me a little bit to remember what I did yesterday. Okay. How frequently do you forget important details? Same scale, kind of almost. Half the time, three quarters, a quarter, never. Half to a quarter, probably. Half. Half? Okay. How frequently do you forget things that people have told you? Quite often. Quite often? Mm -hmm. Did you say three quarters or almost all the time? Three quarters. Three quarters. How frequently do you forget things uh, that happened a few minutes ago? Rarely. Rarely? So quarter, almost never? <clears throat> yeah. Almost never? Okay. And then do you remember facts uh, about this form a week from now? Do you think you'd remember some of the things we've gone over today in a week? 50-50 chance. Well, maybe. It's yes or no. Yes, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. That's fine. All right, so first we're going to go into, I'm going to give you a, a set of pictures. I'm going to give you time you 90 seconds. So okay. study them as much as you can. And then when the 90 seconds are up, we're going to see how much you can recall. Okay? Sure. Okay. I'm going to get my timer all set. All right. Ready? take that back. Alright, now can you go ahead and try to tell me everything you saw? Yes. Okay. Um, a fork, spoon, knife, a plate, um, a wallet, a menu, water, um, a vase filled with water. Coffee mug. Okay. That's about it. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Okay, so we're gonna go through with a couple more questions. Okay. Sure. 
So how uh, difficult was this task for you? Was it easy, somewhat difficult, or very difficult? Mm, somewhat difficult. I feel like it was kind of hard to study in somewhat that difficult. short of time. Yeah. Okay. And how do you feel your memory was on this task compared to how you would have done before your injury? Would you say no change, minimal change, moderate? I'd say moderate. I feel like I would remember it a little bit more okay. or re recall them faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Approximately how much did you remember? So you got 10 items, so you did pretty much half, okay. like you said before. Okay, so when you were studying the information, what did you do to try to help you remember? Did you try to uh, look at like the association of things? Did you try to rehearse all the items in your head, the location of where they were, or? I grouped them somewhat together, like the fork, spoon, and knife-like items. Okay. And then when you were trying to recall, did you use the same kind of technique? Yes. Or did you use anything different? Yes. Okay, the same technique? Okay. Did you any? Uh, did you think of a place or a scene that tried to help you remember any of these items, or you just kind of uh, did it by group and association, not necessarily a theme of the Those overall items? Like items you find in your kitchen or if you go out to eat, I would say. Okay. Good. Home items. Okay. Okay, so we are going to go through uh, one more set of objects here, okay. and these are going to be objects that you will find in your daily morning routine. So I'm going to get give you the same amount of time, you're going to study the objects, and then you're going to recall everything again, okay? Okay. Alright, ready? Here you go. Just tell me everything you can remember, okay? Okay. Uh, toothbrush, a palm, toothpaste, uh, deodorant, a razor, I believe there's a shirt, a jacket, shoes, a closet, um, a bathtub and sink. Was that all on picture? Or two, uh, two separate. separate. Um, coffee mug was on it again. Newspaper. Um, remember anything else? Or that's that about, about it. it. Okay. No problem. Okay. So, how uh, difficult was this task for you? Was this about the same? Was it easier? Difficult? One was a little. Uh, how do you feel your memory uh, was on this task compared to before your? Seemed injury? a little easier to recall. A little injury, so maybe like minimal change. Yeah. And I think rather before you said moderate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on this one you got I think 13 out of 20. So you remembered about three between three fourths and a half, but you did a little bit better than you did last time. Um, so.
So for, for this one, did you uh, what kind of techniques did you use when you were studying it? Did you do the same thing with the association grouping. and grouping? Yeah, I grouped items mm -hmm. from um, rooms to clothing items and then... Uh, now, did you do any with location of where it was in the paper or no? No. No? Okay, and then the same thing when you were recalling it, it was... It was the grouping. The grouping? Yeah. Okay. And now, did it help having the context of knowing where it was, of where the items were all going to be? Yeah, it was nice to know what kind of uh, that it was all uh, images I'd be looking at, yes. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to go through one more thing. Sure. So technically, we would test the, if, uh, the recognition format. So we would go through cards one by one. Mm -hmm. Um, and to see if you had either recognized these before from the previous two pictures, but for the sake of time, um, we are just going to end with that today. Okay, okay. thank you so much.